Hi guys, my name is Lena. I am finally here with a classroom tour. I don't know if I ever filmed like a full finished classroom tour. I don't know. I stopped posting on YouTube so long ago, but I'm back and I just thought a really fun gift would give you guys my classroom tour because I know that a lot of my subscribers are people who have watched my last videos on my classroom and so here we are with my second classroom. I am still teaching third grade, but I only teach English language arts and social studies. I am so excited to show you guys this classroom. I absolutely love it. It is everything. Let's just go ahead and get started. This is what it looks like when you first walk in. I have five tables four rectangle and one circular which is just so fun going right here this is right when you walk in i have this cool little table that, that was in my classroom when i got here this is their little mailbox you've got mail this is just for my homeroom and it's so convenient i never had any of this in my last class and it's just so nice to store any papers that need to go home anything important and it's a cute little mail mailbox i then have this wooden box with just some fidgets in it this i got them all for christmas and it's actually so fun but this is my emergency bag my globe that's just randomly right here and then here is the cubbies i definitely saved that for my last classroom i was very careful taking it down and saving it because it is one of the sayings that I just love and it fits perfect right there if you look close. I had accidentally glued the O backwards so like up close it does not look good <laughs> but far, far away it looks fine. And then these are my student cubbies. The purple is my homeroom, the blue is my block two and it actually works so well. I ended up using my like pto money to buy these because if you remember from my last class i had those black bins and it just was not working with two classes and so once i got these it just was a game changer up here i have some like teacher a teacher cup and some like just stuffed animals that's an earth that i inherited from a teacher at my old school and then those are just more of the caddies i don't know if you guys remember those I had these in my last class, but I don't really use them anymore, so those are just there in case. Um, and if you go down here, these are privacy folders. These are my curriculum books that I use. I have a couple of my teacher little art plaque thingies. A bunch of clipboards, and then here is the beginning of the cabinet. I did have these in my old classroom. My school this year does not follow the leader in me social emotional curriculum, but these are just great to always have. It's just the seven habits. This is a bit janky. <laughs> All right, this is not the cleanest, but I have some random binders. Some of them are like educational books from college. Up here I have the lids to some of my containers and here I have toothy and to be honest I have not been able to really do a lot of toothy this year. I just was very new to the curriculum and I just <laughs> had to focus on that so hopefully next year I'll be able to incorporate some of that. I have these straws that I used for pencil holders for the on the desk at my last school don't use them anymore but they're there uh <laughs> these are some bulletin board borders a random bag a thing of oatmeal not sure why that's there and that more random bags this is the project for module one that i ended up doing did i do that for module two or module three no but at least i tried to start with module one here i have the infamous brick wallpaper. I have other of my bulletin boards. This is another pack of privacy folders, my paper cutter, and then in there I believe is more of the burlap. I used a lot of burlap in my last classroom. It's all in there. Here I have not used these. I will show you what I use to organize my other things and I really should honestly use this because it's great space. And there's another filing one down here but I just use it for my tools. <laughs> 
Okay, so this I did freehand, which I'm so proud of because it's so straight and perfect. I I will link the classroom bundle that I used this year. I absolutely love it. It's so colorful, but these are all like ELA grammar type posters and it just really brings it all together. I have my fridge. I have my microwave. These two things are our reward system, I guess. And I'm trying my best to do it, but it's pennies. And then I have like my pencils, sharpener. So I opened all of them here. Obviously I have a lot of cleaning supplies and then some Kleenexes. I have not used obviously that top shelf. Coming into the next one, <laughs> I have just some supplies. I have some pencils, expo markers, glue and coloring supplies, some notebooks, binders. I did not get to make the supply list for this year because it was already sent out by the time a lot of us were new in third grade and so we just kind of had to go with what they brought. So I haven't used those or the binders. I think I might actually use binders next year. I'm not sure. If you're a teacher and use binders or folders, let me know which one you like better because this year we're using folders and it's not horrible. As you can see, like it's folders over there. It's not horrible, but I just think it might be a little bit more organized if I use binders. And then over here is more like my cabinet. I have some paper, Advil, more paper, a random box, curriculum, my hot glue gun and my laminator. Some things that were supposed to go in my toolbox. I lost my toolbox in the move. Don't know where it went. So that's all in there. And then random stuff. So this drawer right here is the shared supplies. Fun fact, when I brought over my crayons from Arizona, they melted in the move and I had to throw out the entire container. So here are new ones. These are still the same markers that I had in Arizona that I think my first year of teaching, I got the like huge Crayola class pack. These are still alive and well. I never got a coloring pencils ones, but I was collecting colored pencils at my last school, brought them over, and this is what's left of them. So definitely need to get some more colored pencils for next year. And this drawer is more supplies. Also, I found, I had a lot of people in my classroom videos a couple years ago ask about these containers. These are the ones that stacked. I had like, I think my math manipulatives in them. I found them on Amazon, so I will try to link them below. But honestly amazing they just they're just so good because they all come with lids or you can stack them anyways i have my whiteboard stuff that i don't really use i don't really do math anymore but i can incorporate that somehow again i was very focused on learning the curriculum this year exo markers highlighters <laughs> scissors glue and some pens um, we correct our work and so pens are a must and obviously rulers oh these are some curriculum books and then obviously those black bins yeah <laughs> nothing special this is where the kids can like get in their indoor recess activities except that obviously i honestly should move that into the other one because that just has like classroom decor I have like the do a dot art, which is so fun. Some stamps, the buzzers, some operation. In that white box are white crayons. I have, they love like the guess who. Oh, this is super cool. It's, it's like Tetris. It's so cool. The kids love it. I actually just got another one, but I have not put it out yet because I don't have a baggie yet. And in here, which is right above the sink, is some just decor random things this is a bag that i didn't use but i will use eventually yeah nothing fun and then here is my sink i have soap paper towels a sharpener that's like i did get a new one not that one i did have that one last year but it honestly does not work right i don't know what happened to it but got some wipes here is the mirror that I had at my last school, but I added these like affirmations to it. And then 
this is the file cart. I turned it sideways. I have not labeled it because truly this also is what is unorganized. But this is my turn in bin. <laughs> and yeah, this is like my little board. This is where I keep my grading papers. This is my class, that's my other class, so it's kind of convenient. I honestly just hot glue these to the, the wall. As you can see, it's cinder block, and so hot glue is amazing. Then coming over to my little corner, which I truly love this little corner. It looks really messy, but it's not. I have paper in here, some decor things, a light, obviously. This printer is the school's, every classroom has one, which is so nice, my phone. At the end of last year, I made these binders, and I'll just show you what they look like. But I have coloring pages that are like spring or April themed, and like word searches, and then reading and writing things. And then a lot of this came from super teachers or superhero teachers or whatever that website's called. Math things. Uh, so although I don't teach math every month, and I just started this, honestly, in February, I think, or January, I can't remember. I started making, like, fun packets for the kiddos that has coloring, word searches, math things, reading things that they can work on when they're done with their work. These are binders that some of them's curriculum, some of them's not. Again, kind of messy. I really can put these probably in my cabinet along with that stuff. I really should, but whatever. Here is all of my things. Post-its, everything, my degree. This flower I got from Valentine's Day. So cute. Oh, I just, I started, I got these this year and I think they're stamps that... I put on work when I'm done grading it. I love it. it. makes it so fun. Also, these, amazing. Love them. And then these are what we're going to use for state test review. Down here is just more random things. So like I said, I misplaced or lost my toolbox that I had in Arizona. And so a lot of the things are just randomly placed. And then these are just random. Again, like I said earlier, it looks all organized, but in the random drawers, not so much. These I just got, I love them. <laughs> I took out my favorite one and I've never really used stress balls but my reading coach has them and kind of made me obsessed. This is my favorite one that I just got. It's just truly, again, it's not focused but so fun. Didn't realize how beneficial those are. This is my calendar. Obviously it's not the 18th but spring break and so that's when we come back to school. This I got at a coffee shop. And it's just so cute. The coffee was actually so good. And I didn't want to throw this away. So I <laughs> stapled it. It's just so cute. And then up here is my alphabet. As you can see, I did borders on my whiteboard. I've never done that. And it's so fun. Love it. Here is just my numbers from my calendar. Markers. These are the calendar inserts. This is where I put some of the artwork that the kids make me. Okay, so here are my fluency practice. At the end of third grade, they need to read 132 words per minute. And so these are available for them on our ELA RTI days. And just they can work on it whenever they're done with their work. I added a one minute timer to their to our website that we use. So great practice for them to do on their own. That is an anchor chart that is one of the writing for explanatory. And this is kind of like another overview from my back table. Just love having the view if I'm sitting down here. I just love being able to see everybody and nothing's behind me except like my things. I actually just put this up. Our school has like a poster room which is amazing that I can send something that can be printed as a poster and laminated. Very, very useful. I kind of just utilize that this month so that just was up which is so helpful for the kiddos I want to find a two two and two it's a good visual reminder beautiful view of the outside playground so green so different from Arizona absolutely love it I had this greenery around my whiteboard last year it kind of just fits like that I did have it draped but 
it didn't stay. I kind of like that vibe. Okay, over here, I have not used this. I honestly just put these in here when I got here today <laughs> to move them from my desk. These are StoryWorks. I have not really used this cart. This is our schedule, and that is my other saying that I had to keep. It's my favorite, favorite, favorite saying. Just absolutely love it. And then my rocking chair. Honestly, the pillows are so dirty. I got that as a gift from one of my past students. A pencil, and then I ended up, I think I probably got that at Target one year. Here is my smart board, which is just so fun. I'm so grateful to have this in my classroom. I have my books down here, and then I use this kind of as like my teacher table type thing. These are their morning work DOLs, and then that's our curriculum that we'll be starting. This I've always struggled with. <laughs> I've always struggled with, I know there's a lot of books, like there's too many in there, but yeah, I've just have always struggled with book keeping and like organizing them. Here are my posters. I still change these out every season or holiday. It's something that I look forward to. It's just so fun. Where like my computer's plugged in that gets on my smart board. This is usually where I am most of the day or I'm back there when like the kids are working or if I'm working with kiddos, usually back there. But it's really nice to have this, especially when I first walk in. Usually in the morning, I'm sitting here standing by the door greeting the kids. So a teacher was getting rid of her teacher chair and I have one back there that's actually so comfortable that came with my class, but she was getting rid of hers and I, I wanted to get a rolly chair for right here. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up just, I don't even know where, I took off the backing of it and it's actually so comfortable. Okay, so down here are my Legos. The kids love them. And here there's magnets, the marble things, which they also love, and then those blocks. But really, they love the marble thing. Uh, they don't really usually play with the magnets or the other blocks. These have been my obsession recently, but I bought a bag, this bag at Target, and it tastes very funny. <laughs> this is my lamp that's always wonky, but it's just the cutest lamp. And then these are rules that came with my classroom decor. This, I just honestly put this here. It's for when I need to make copies instead of just having piles right here. I can slip them in here. Again, used um, hot glue to get that on there. And then now we're back at the door. So here again is an overall view. Alright you guys, that completes my classroom tour of the 2023-2024 school year. I absolutely love this classroom, like just looking at it right now. It truly is my happy place. I try so hard to make my classroom inviting, comfortable for both me and my students. It really does pay off because I'm here every single weekday, all day, and it's important to me that it feels good in here and part of that is cleaning and organizing i hope you guys enjoyed and if you have any questions just let me know i will try my best to link things i don't know if i already said that but yeah i hope you guys have a great day and i will see you next time bye